Assalamualaikum and greetings. My name is Nura Ashikin binti Muhammad Asri, 2190895 and my mini thesis title is The Use of English and Its Effect on Language Trend in Social Media Usage Amongst Third-Year Students of Defense Human Resource Management of National Defense University of Malaysia. To begin with Chapter 1, we have a problem statement which I will be focused on the perception that language trend in social media may negatively impact communication among students, especially communicational skills. Okay, the next is students always obsessed with using short forms or abbreviations, slang and deep in social media, especially in their daily basis conversation. For example, ASAP is short form for as soon as possible. Furthermore, there will be miscommunication when the students of Defense Human Resource Management students apply these language patterns in formal and official fields of event. For example, during meetings, since language trends are not an appropriate language. For the next part, we have research objectives. Firstly, to examine the role of language trend in communication. Secondly, to determine the effect of language trend in communication and lastly, to investigate the respondents' opinions about the effect of language trends in communication. For the next part, to complete chapter 1, we have research questions. The first one is, what are the roles of language trends in communication? What is the effect of language trends in communication? And lastly, what are the respondents' opinions about the effect of language trends in communication? So now, we've come to chapter 2 which is literature review. I want to describe the previous studies where the use of social media as electronically mediated communication or EMC type of language trends and provide arguments from previous study research on the influence of language trends in social media towards students' communications. This statement can be supported because that internet contact frequently results in the use of short phrases and unfinished sentences that is frequently devolved in informal chat, which can harm academic quality. In Faiza and Shamsak's studies, they found out that people use EMC to perform a variety of discourse functions including greetings, topic initiation, assertion, response, law holding, corrective moves, requirements, and closing moves. This is because EMC is a significant tool in assisting people in engaging in conversation creatively, where people often feel awkward in face-to-face -face communication that requires eye contact. As indicated by David Crystal, abbreviation is a shortened word which has been refined phonetic investigation. It helped them to message quicker. Over the long haul, they got creative by the content language, for example, I don't know because I did care, and happy birthday became HBD. In 2011, Hazaja, Norzaina, and Rosalinda stated that there are various types of abbreviations used in social media to ease the way communication and convey meanings. There are five types of abbreviations such as contradiction, clippings, acronyms, orthographic representation, and lastly, misspelling. Slang refers to a speech expression utilized by a speech community typically restricted to a particular context or group of people. It can be positive and negative. In 2008, Meze and Han indicated that positive slang is the casual language that a speaker uses to flag identification with the audience. For example, cool, sweet or awesome is viewed as informal slang, while jerk, waste or shit are viewed as adverse slang. Next, give our short movements, normally under 15 seconds, play in program, repetition, and focusing in on a solitary center message. In the study of Maria, it was discovered that using a visual stimulus had a substantial impact. It was discovered that using animation to deliver information, it helped people understand it and it made learning more easier. Let's move to theoretical framework. In the mid-1970s, CAT has gone to a few reasonable refinements. What's more, hypothetical elaboration as exemplified by move in from discourse into the non-linguistics. CAT is a communication theory which emphasizes the adjustment that people does while communicating. So this CAT explains that the tendency for humans to change their behavior while interacting. There are two kinds of accommodation measures. The first one is where individual 
in general adjust the other individual formation and attributes to lessen social contrast. Secondly, divergence exhibit an opposite characteristic as it emphasize the difference among the close relation with each other. This leads me to my next point which is conceptual framework. As we can see in the figure above, it shows a simple flow of chart establishing the correlation between the construct. In this framework, the dependent is the communication of the third year students of defense human resource management and the independent are the abbreviation slang and gifts. Alright, let's turn to chapter 3 which is methodology. In population and setting, I use 152 students from third year students from Defense Human Resource Management Program from NDUM. I'm using an online survey and using Google Form. The questions are distributed via WhatsApp and Telegram. In the questionnaire, there are 26 online questionnaires which comprises three sections, which are section A, the demographic information of the respondents, section B, the role of language train in communication, which include abbreviations, slang and gif. Section C is the effect of the language trend. And the lastly, five point liquid scale is used in this section, and the scales used were frequency response and curves that range from one strongly disagree to five strongly agree. There are three things to be considered, which are descriptive, reliability, and thematic analysis. But first, I will explain how descriptive analysis look like. I'll compile the data on Excel spreadsheet and using SPSS version 23. Then, I interpret the data on answering each question. The fundamental measurement of the research involves frequencies, percentage, and mean. Next is reliability analysis. The chroma alpha co coefficient can indicate how well a test measures where it should and how closely related on the set of items are as a group. Lastly, the thematic analysis is used to break down the solitary open-ended question of the section C. The themes which emerged were help, neutral, and does not help. The researcher then chooses the best 15 responses from the 152 questionnaire to elaborate the themes. This is the graph for the most answered questions where there are 83 respondents out of 152 are males. Then majority of them are 21 to 23 years old. Next, the result for the English academic writing, the respondent that, that got A and B is the same. And yes, 100% of the respondents are having social media. While 143 respondents agree that they have 1 to 5 social media networking sites account that currently maintaining. Last but not least, only 56 respondents agree that the daily time of the respondents spent on social media is usually 3 to 6 hours. For the role of the language trend in communication, I use the highest mean for each category. For abbreviation, I use abbreviation to follow the limitation of the word in certain social networking sites such as Twitter. It has the highest mean which is 4.46, while for the slang, the mean 4.08 is the respondent agree that they use slang because they can communicate more quickly than formal language. And lastly, for GIF, the mean is 4.28. It's for the use GIF because it can add more context or emotion in much shorter messages. Next, for the effect of language strength in communication, the highest mean is 4.18, which is the majority of the respondents agree that language strength can destroy students' ability to use crucial mechanics of writing, such as syntax, punctuation, and capitalization. For the mean 4.16, they also agree that language strength can lead to miscommunication due to difference of perception and interpretation. Next, language strength fail to convey people's true emotion because people hide their true inner feelings that have mean of 3.93, which is the lowest. Language strength can minimize the chances of the writing correctly as they are substituting and written text in communication have the mean of 4.11. In chapter 5, we've discussed that social media platforms promote and encourage fast, convenient, brief and sharp communication and styles, linguistic trends such as abbreviation, slang and gif are particularly prevalent in electronically mediated communication EMC. As we know, due to the widespread of usage of social media and the persuasive use of language trends, language trends are not only employed in EMC but also in people's daily written and verbal communication. 
Next, we move to recommendation where future researchers are highly encouraged to perform research that covers a larger geographic area. This research report does not represent or applicable to other areas because it was solely done at NUM. Future research should include a bigger number of responses as the study only included 152 students from the third year students' defense human resource management program. And lastly, future research can come up with the comparison between students of different human resource management and language students. For example, the factors that differentiate these students in their usage of language training. Last but not least, the conclusion, the goal of this research was to obtain a better knowledge of how social media and language trends influence communication and to raise awareness about it. The statistical analysis revealed a more accurate and clear understanding of respondents' background, central inclinations, and reliability. In overall, the study research objective and research questions were met and addressed satisfactory, and that concludes my presentation for today. Thank you.